Negative indices, uh, you will encounter them as a lot as well. For instance, uh, 2 to the power minus 2, as we have an index which is negative. Now we all know that 2 to the power 2 equals 2 4, eh? because 2 to the power 2 means 2 times 2. 2 to the power minus 2, I'm saying, will equal to 1 over 4. Yeah, I'm going to show you that that makes complete sense. Um, um, okay, let's, let, let's for instance do x to the power 7 over x to the power 3. Okay, x to the power 7 over x to the power 3. Yes, second law of the indices, the base is the same, you subtract the indices, 7 minus 3, the answer is x to the power 4. I hope you agree with me so far. But let's say on a different question, um, I'll do that here. I'll turn it around. X to the power 3 over X to the power 7. Okay. Second law of the indices. The base is the same. We're dividing. So I subtract the indices. 3 minus 7. Now the answer to that is minus 4. Oh, hang on a minute. A negative index. Now if I would write this out. X times X times X. Yeah, X to the power 3 over X times X times times x3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perhaps a bit confusing with all those x's and time signs, yeah? but I hope you can follow me. Common factors. They're all gone. So what is left in my denominator? A 1, a 2, a 3, a 4. x to the power 4. Yeah, so in my numerator I have 1 left over, in my denominator, I have left x to the power 4. So x to the power minus 4, yeah, 1x to the power minus 4 is the same as 1 over x to the power positive 4. All right. Now, in general, if you like, x to the power minus m equals 1 over x to the power m but that one is the coefficient of x yeah because i want to give you the example 5a to the power minus 3 in positive index notation would be 5 over a to the power 3 yeah because the coefficient stays in the numerator yeah because what is the index of 5 yeah that is to the power 1 yeah so that's positive, so it stays in the numerator. It's only the a that is to the power of minus three, so that will go in positive index notation into the denominator. Can I also please make a distinguish between minus three x to the power two? Yeah, we are talking about negative indices. Now is my index negative? Absolutely not. So do not turn this into some sort of fraction. No, minus three x to the power two, that is minus three x to the power 2, yeah, and 3 x to the power minus 2, now my index is negative, would be 3 over x to the power 2 in positive index notation, yeah. Negative indices, yeah, back to the beginning and then we're going to do some example questions in the next video. So 2 to the power 2 is 4, 2 to the power minus 2 is the same as 1 over 2 to the power 2, so 1 over 4. Alright, next video, example questions.